What's up, family? How you doing? As always, I'm eating something. <laughs> That's what I do best. And you know, some people enjoy cooking. I enjoy eating. So and you know, you know who else enjoys eating? The Lord enjoys him some food. Oh yes, he does. You read the scriptures and he was always eating something. Always finding an opportunity to break bread. So, and you know, you think, <laughs> just a sidebar, all these depictions of, of Jesus Christ, they always show him as this little <laughs> feeble looking, frail looking white dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. By the way, that wasn't. <laughs> That wasn't a racist comment. If you think that was a racist comment, then you t totally don't understand where I'm coming from when I say that. And it's at this point that I probably should go ahead and give the, uh, the disclaimer that I promised I would give you all in the previous video. Um, if the last comment I just made offended you, then you might want to turn the video off right now. Okay, because at this point, I am no longer responsible for how you feel if you continue to watch the video. I've already warned you, and I'm going to warn you one more time. If what I just said previously offended you, then you might want to turn the video off because I'm pretty sure I'm going to say something else that some of you may not like. Okay, so if you didn't like it, now is your time. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, enter at your own risk. <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you. Love you all. Please continue to watch or not. <laughs> all right. The Lord is spirit. And those that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. That's basically what I'm getting at. Well, anyway, um, I'm going. Where am I going? I never know where I'm going. I guess I'll talk about what the Lord was speaking to me about this morning in my prayer time. If that's what you want to call it, a prayer time. You see, I really don't have like a prayer, prayer time, like my conversations and my um, communications with the Lord are so informal. I mean, I find myself talking to the Lord while I'm using the toilet, while I'm washing up in the shower, oh my goodness, while I'm laying down in bed. Sometimes every now and again, I feel like I want to be extra, extra, <laughs> extra, extra formal and I, um, I may uh, kneel down beside my bed, but that seems so contrived to me as far as like the relationship that I have with the Lord you know until you know something else changes I'm just sometimes I just lie right down in my bed and I have a conversation with my Abba Father so I think as long as we're just talking to him and communicating with him then it uh it really doesn't matter that's all a part of us having a relationship with the Lord and us being human and and everything like that and just and uh, by the way, I think this video is going to be so random, like it's just random thoughts here and there. That's the kind of mood that I'm feeling right now. But um, speaking of what he was talking to me uh, this morning about, um, I, I started to get, to, I'm, I was starting to get to the point where I was esteeming men over God. Yeah. Especially here on in YouTube land You know for those who have seen like my any of my past videos I kind of have been talking about how me this this thing called grace um, I haven't really understood except you know in starting you know probably, probably at the beginning of the pandemic And I think that's happened with a lot of people during the pandemic it just the Lord like halted the whole planet and it kind of got people to to just seek him more and 
to examine themselves and things like of that nature. And it was during that time that um, I stumbled across some YouTube videos of folks in the Grace community. And I think though um, I accepted Christ at the age of 11 or 12, you know, that thing called grace, I didn't understand that until 2020. 2020, I saw clearly in 2020. Isn't that, isn't that incredible? You know, um, I'm still, you know, still uh, getting into his word and uh, reading whenever I can. I'm only human. Sometimes I don't feel like reading the word, you know? Sometimes I don't feel like praying. You know, I'm I'm not perfect. Sometimes I say a little foul word here or there. Sometimes I may blurt out a damn or a hell. Or you're such an ass. Or you're pissing me off. But I'm a work in progress. Okay, the Lord is working on me, just like I know he's working on everybody. You know, even the apostle Paul mentioned something about he hasn't attained. Not that he has attained, I'm just paraphrasing it too. You see, that's just goes, I don't know like scriptures like by heart, but I, I know the general idea of the scripture. Um, he talks about something like not that he's attained, but he continues to press on toward the mark, the prize of the high calling, which is in Christ, something, something to that effect. And that's what I continue to do. I continue to just press, press on, I'm not such some Bible scholar or stuff like that, but what I what I believe the Holy Spirit has shared with me, I will if I feel so led, I'm gonna share it with you, with you guys, you know, because I consider you my my family, my brethren, you know. And some of us aren't just like in a regular household. You don't always get along with your siblings. We're not always going to get along. We're not always going to agree. But our Father will tell us what to do and how to do it, how to go about doing it. And, uh, you know, it's just up to us if we decide to listen listen to, to it or not. Or, you know, if our Father tells us and to we do listen something to one of our siblings, is it... And then our Father gives us a spanking and we're like, why did you do that? I told you to do this way. And we'd be like, well... My sister, little Susie, said to do it this way. And because we we, we kind of look up to Susie, because Susie is older, you know. She's known Sister Susie and Brother Johnny. They've, uh, they've been around the father a lot longer because they were born earlier than us. So we listen to, to Johnny and Susie rather than listening to what, what daddy says, we're gonna get in trouble from dad. We're not gonna be able to say, well, Susie or Johnny told me to do it this way. And him, daddy will tell us, no, but what did I tell you? I'm the daddy, you listen to me. And so that that has been my, my dilemma. I feel, you know, over these past few months, I've been listening to, to um, to brother Johnny and, and sister Susie um, too much because I, I felt they're a lot older than me spiritually, spiritually speaking. And um, it was, it's been, it's been to my detriment, you know? And, and daddy had to give me a sort of a spanking today, you know? He had to tell me like, who, who, who are you esteeming more highly than me, you know? Who are you listening to above me? This is why it's so important. And again, this is where that spanking came in. He, he said, I want you to study to show yourself approved. A workman needing not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word, you know? At the end of the day, it's, it's, it's the, the responsibility falls on me if I uh, fail to, to study, to show myself approved, you know? You know, what does he say? My people perish for lack of knowledge. If I'm not knowledgeable about something, 
or if I didn't do my job in, in searching out the scriptures for myself, like the Bereans did in the book of Acts, then I have to deal with the consequences that, that come along with that, right? I really don't even know what I'm talking about. I prob I'm probably just rambling, but this is all what I'm feeling in my heart right now. When I started this channel, and this is only just a few months, if you if you scroll through my, my page, you'll see that I don't have that many videos up. That's because um, though I've been on YouTube for forever and a day, I never, I never posted anything until just recently. And um, I knew that I wanted this channel to be a place where I can share what it is I believe the Lord has been telling me and showing me and he's been you know guiding me through this thing called grace and I'm just getting really excited about finally understanding the grace of God and um but I'm ever learning you know so I know that there's gonna be some things where I, I posted and people are just gonna gonna say whatever they have to say about it but can't you can't please everyone everyone can't be pleased and I'm I'm learning I'm learning that very very quickly I think I'm I'm being I'm being forced to learn that very very quickly and you know another thing I don't I've, I've been esteeming people more than more than God himself and um I know God is not pleased, not pleased with me for doing that, you know? I don't think any of us should esteem one individual more than another, you know? You're a person just like I'm a person. And it was becoming to the point where I was beginning to like idolize folks, you know? Now I know there, there are people that are more seasoned, seasoned in the word, and everything like that. But I guess the point I'm making is the same Holy Spirit that teaches them is able to teach me and show me and guide me. You know? The Holy Spirit will guide will guide us in, in all truths, right? Isn't that what the word says? I know it says it somewhere in there. <laughs> like I said, I don't I'm not deep deep in the word like I, I know I could be. But you know, I'm a work in progress. I'm a work in progress. I don't want I don't want to esteem anybody else and I don't want anybody to esteem me either. You know? We all should be looking toward the Lord, right? He's the author and the finisher of our faith. That's somewhere in the Bible too, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> this video is so random. But um I kind of hope that you all are understanding where it is that I'm coming from. You know, I just, I'm just gonna post stuff and folks are gonna like it or not like it, you know? I know there, there's, there's some stuff I say and people just, just are loving it because the subscriber count goes up and then Five minutes later, it goes it goes back down. But you know, I'm not I'm not doing this for the sake of subscribers. That's not what that's not what um that's not my mo. I can't be man pleasers and people pleasers. You know. Now, like I said in my last video, like I wouldn't purposely do something or post something that. I know for without a shadow of a doubt that it would offend, but there's always going to be someone that's offended by something. You know, doesn't it say that in a word someplace too? Where like in the, in the last days many shall be offended. I believe it says that somewhere. I have to look that up, but I'm pretty sure I read that at some point. So people are going to be offended by every and anything. 
I'm sorry this is dra dragging along and so dry and everything like that. I'm usually usually a little bit more jovial in my in 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 my videos, but you know, this is just I don't know. But so that this doesn't drag on to to 25 minutes. I think I'm going to end it right now. And um yeah. Never the Lord just gives me something to share. I believe that it's the Lord that's that wants me to share it. I'm gonna share it, whether people like it or not. You know, and I'll probably get some <laughs> some people that leave this channel because I I said, "Damn hell, ass and piss." Oh my goodness, I'm not I'm not the Lord. I'm a human being, just like you are. Just like we're all human beings. We're all works in progress, especially if we're if we're saved, you know. <sighs> Speaking of salvation, <laughs> and see that's another thing. I, that's how flawed I am. I said I was gonna put the gospel at the beginning of the video. So look at me. I'm like, Ugh, my goodness. Here's the gospel, folks. The gospel is found in First Corinthians chapter 15, verses one through four. Basically, it says that. The eternally existing God came down to this earth in human in the, form, the, in the person of Jesus Christ. He sacrificed himself on the cross. He died. He shed his blood for, for our, to wash us clean of our sins, our past, present, and future sins. He died. He was buried for three days. He did not stay dead because on the third day he rose up again. When we believe that, we are saved. Why? Because the Bible also says that, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto what? Unto salvation. What is the power of, of, what is the power of God unto salvation? The gospel of Christ is. How do I know that 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 1 through 4 is the gospel of Christ? Because Paul says that, it came to him directly from our Lord Jesus. Directly from him. Okay, so it is the gospel of Christ. You believe the gospel, you are saved. You are not saved by works. You're not saved by, and you're not kept saved by, by works. How do I know this? Because the Bible says, for by grace we're saved through faith, not of ourselves. It is a gift. It, I don't know, it's not just a gift. It's the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Your works do not save you. Your works do not keep you saved. Once you are saved, you are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise until the day of redemption. Um, remember, salvation is a gift, and the gifts of the Lord are without repentance. Repentant, repentance meaning um, a change of mind. In other words, the Lord never changes his mind once he gives you a gift. He doesn't give you a gift and t take it back from you. As a matter of fact, he says that no one will be able to pluck you out of his hands once you believe in him. And what the Lord uh, seals, what the Lord brings together, no man can break asunder. Okay? Um, and the Lord always keeps his promises. He's not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. Huh. All right. God bless you. Get saved today, uh, folks, if you're not saved. Uh, the signs of the times all around us, the end is, is near. <laughs> it's very near. And every day that we wake up and the rapture hasn't happened, just know that we're just one day closer to it. And we're one day closer to all hell breaking loose. So please... Don't wait, don't wait till the last minute uh, to get saved. Remember, tomorrow's not promised to any of us. And remember, there's there's come there's an appointed time for man to die once, and after this, the judgment. So once you die, that's it. Your fate is sealed. So believe on the Lord Jesus today um, and get saved today. Um, if you confess with your mouth. Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. All right? Uh, the simplicity of the gospel, guys. Just believe. Just believe. Simple belief. Um, those who believe have eternal life. 
and those who don't believe, the wrath of God is upon them. All right. So God bless you all. I love you. And sorry for this long, drawn out, random rant. I love you guys. Peace.